Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a particle tornado in Maya. To get started, you can actually use any version of Maya that you want. I've tested this, this in Maya 5 and it works perfectly, but the version that I use is Maya 2010. Right, so let's get started. First of all, what you need to do is you're going to have to go and create a particle emitter. You can do this by the going into the Dynamics tab and go to Particles, Create Emitter. Once you've created it, in the Translate X axis, type in 1.5. Press G to create another one, and this time set it in minus 1.5. Do the same, only in the, in the, in the uh, Z axis. Once you did that, create another one. This time, put it in between any of the two, and do this four times. At the end, your particle emitters will be will appear in a circular form. In a perspective view, it will look like that. Extend your animation frames to 500, and press play. You'll then see that your particles just emit into space. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so select all of the particles, go into the dynamics menu set, go to fields, gravity, and go into the options box. Go to edit, reset. By default it's 9.8, but put, but put in minus 30, and click create. If you play back the animation, you will see that the particles then go up, and will actually go up. Select them again, go to fields, create a vortex and options, and set, this time set it to a hundred thousand and click create. If you play it back now you will see that yet your particles will spin which is quite cool and it's really fast. Now let's change the look. Select any particle press Control A and into the particle shape tab in the lifespan attributes select it from lifespan to constant and set a value of 2.6. In the render attributes Change it from points to multi streak. Do this with all the other particles. Once you did that, your um, particles will look like um, stripes. So you can change it. For Actually, you can change it from anything, from points to numeric, oh, sorry, numeric, and to clouds, to blobby surfaces, whatever, whatever you want. I just make it a multi-strict just to let, let us be able to see it a little bit better. But yeah, um, basically what happens is that I was trying to figure out a way to create a tornado and just started playing around with the um, particles and fields and other effects and then I actually came up with this. Okay, once you've done that, remind your animation, select all of the emitters and move it slightly in the x-axis. What will happen now is that if you play it, the particles will bend a little bit. So that gives us a little bit better effect. Okay, that's about it. Um, thank you for watching, and yeah, um, please comment on this if you have any other ideas or if you have any ideas to improve it. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, I hope you find this helpful.